Now that you've built a tier 2 altar, you will have access to these sigils. The first sigil would be your sigil of the green grove, which is 4 oak sapling, 3 sugar cane, reinforced slate, and your apprentice blood orb. The sigil of the green grove allows you to increase the number of growth ticks of plants in and around your area. In order to activate it, you're going to right click, and when I do, you'll notice the pattern on the sigil change from dark green to yellow. See, that shows that it's working. Right click turns it off. Also, if you right click on dirt, it will act like bone meal. It also works on plants as well. So if you've planted a tree, you can right click on the tree and it'll act like bone meal. The next sigil is the void sigil. In order to make that, you will get six buckets, one string, reinforced slate, and an apprentice blood orb. What the void sigil does, it allows you to eliminate water or lava. As you see here, I've put down a thing of water and I'm going to void sigil that away. Now I'm going to put down a thing of lava. I'm going to right click and it goes away as well. The void sigil is a quick way to get rid of water or any kind of liquid. Okay, the next sigil is the air sigil. In order to make that, you're going to want six feathers, a gas tier, a reinforced slate, and an apprentice blood orb. Once you have that, the air sigil, you right click on it and it will allow you to fly in the direction that you're pointing and it uses blood points. It is a very fast way to get from point A to point B. Extremely useful. The next sigil is the sigil of the fast miner. In order to create that, you're gonna want an iron ax, iron pickaxe, iron shovel, four stone, a reinforced slate, and in your apprentice blood orb. The sigil of the fast miner, when active, allows you to mine faster. The next sigil is the sigil of sight, which is made with, by using one divination sigil, six pieces of glass, your apprentice blood orb, and a bucket of life. In order to create a bucket of life, you can put a bucket in your altar and it will fill up it and make a bucket of life. The sigil of sight. Right click the sigil of sight on the blood altar and it shows you what's in the input and output tank. Sometimes when you right click on your orb of sacrifice, you won't notice blood going into your blood altar right away. It could be just simply filling the input tank. The sigil of sight allows you to see this.